it's so easy to get heat at a nightclub when the band ain't no good because uh, I had more heat with the band from the ring with my microphone bullet. <laughs> and the biggest, the greatest line I ever come up with is after they played, I got on the microphone and says, when's the band going to play? Oh, they got hot. <laughs> I said, the only reason I'm here is because I thought it was a bluegrass. I, I said, I thought it was a bluegrass club. <laughs> this ain't a bluegrass band? <laughs> oh, the band was horrifying, bullet. Horrifying. Yeah. Well, so but, yeah, uh, glad you let him know. No, uh, yeah, I, that's what I was saying. When's the band gonna play? All oh, that drummer about come right after. Just, me. just, just like when people have bad matches, you let them know when they have bad matches. <laughs> you let them know when they have they play bad, bad concerts. Well, uh, uh, just to warn you, because uh, Trey G may run it again, and I told him, uh, I mean, you may work there too. Okay. So, but I ain't heard back from him, so he may still be stuck. I, at the I need club. places to work, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you undiscovered. You're the fastest discovered, undiscovered talent in the world. Yep. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. You hear the claps, you know what time it is. George, how was your week? Bullet, unbelievable. Me and you were just talking on the way over here to Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle Studios. Mm -hmm. Bullet, which actually consists of, well, actually in high spots, but it's our studio. And just how great this past weekend was, not really all over the world, but just here in the Carolinas to be a pro wrestling fan. Yeah. Bullet, there was just some unbelievable Tremendous shows, uh, some great houses, bullet from all over the place. I really think everybody we know was probably booked at one of those shows this weekend. And what I love about it, bullet, is it all was around in the Carolina area. It's mm -hmm. what we love about it. Of course, I'm talking about, I was in Gastonia, of course, had a great show there for the Gastonia Police, the Police Athletic League. Uh, also, you were up there with the Hardys. Their, their high school, their former high school, Union, right? Union Pines High School yep. in Cameron, North Carolina. Um, uh, short drive from, from Charlotte, and a very <laughs> short drive from the Hardy compound. So, uh, yeah. Sold out. Yeah. Tremendous, tremendous crowd. Just want to, our hats off to everybody up there. And just, there were several shows. I mean, you talked about, uh, had one with a lot of our good friends, a lot of the legends up around Salem, Virginia. So just Salem, a Virginia. lot, uh, a lot going on. And a supposed one in Camden. Yes. Yeah, that supposedly had 1,600 people there. But we have yet seen, seen pictures yeah, yet. Yeah, all I know is if I, boy, if I draw 100 people, I'm going to post some pictures. Exactly. So uh, we did hear through the grapevine that in South Carolina, Camden, South Carolina, was a tremendous house. I don't know what guys was available because we all had them all, but... And what wrestling fans were available, because <laughs> apparently that's pretty in demand these days as well. I did hear 1,600 people, boy. Unbelievable down there. So, and, 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 and it was close to 1,000. That's I don't know exactly what they had in right. Salem, and of course, you know. They were close to probably five, maybe 550 in Gaston. And what is, I love about it is like we joke about it a lot. We didn't have to drive far, boy, yep. which we both appreciate that. And, of course, I did so good Saturday night, did so good. Had one gentleman come up, and he purchased two books. I think he made a mistake and forgot that he'd already paid me for one, but we ain't telling him, boy. So he took two books, and the book just did so, so good. Got a new case coming. Got a great week planned this week, boy. Uh, Fort Mill, South Carolina. Uh, Dad, you know where he wrestles going to the big strawberry festival. Uh, I was which wondering about there. that. I heard about that. Like, I was wondering when one of those was going to come back around. I'm telling you, they're expecting for this event. I think Marsha Tucker Band played there last year. They got a big band, fireworks, on Friday night. And, of course, the whole event all day Saturday. We've got like five shows on Friday, and then there'll be five shows on Saturday. Rock and Roll Express, Barbary, Duggan, just oh, wow. a huge, huge event. That's, they're expecting maybe 50 or 60,000 people. Of course, here in the Carolinas, we're expecting a big storm uh, coming in here, and they can come all along. All at once. It's just got to be out of here before Friday. And, of course, Sunday, one of our favorite events, Bullet, right here, Charlotte, North Carolina, Plaza Road Baptist Church, the great big homecoming, some great cooking. It's all free. The matches will start around 12 o'clock Sunday morning right there at Plaza Road Baptist Church. So we got a lot going on, Bullet. I do want to make uh, two things mentioned here, Bullet. Had a, a great, great response this past week. Got a lot of feedback from uh, your match. Uh, of course, I just don't take it for granted of your match there Saturday night. Had a lot of feedback. It's so neat, Bullet. Uh, a lot of big names on that show, but a lot of people, they they just love the Man Scout. So uh, I, I just want to give you a heads up on that. Of course, we've got a big uh, double date coming up in Bluefield, West Virginia at the end of May. Right, mm -hmm. Bullet? Mir first. Miracle on the Mountain. Uh, the first live ever uh, Dad You Don't Work You Wrestle TV show. Yep. Live. And I do want to give a hats off to us, Bullet, because right here tonight, if I am uh, not wrong, this is number 70. Yes. Number 70 episodes. They didn't think we would last uh, 
uh, past the first one. Mm -hmm. Looks uh, like we made boy, it. Looks like, oh, I love that song too. Looks like we made it. We may, we may have to sing that. But boy, on top of all of that, 70 episodes. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of the book. Boy, I do want to go right to the idiot bag, if you don't mind. No okay? problem. Drum roll, please. That's what I'm here for. And you know, boy, what I don't understand, I don't care if we collect the trash, I don't care if we collect the pop bottles, which I've done all that, all the above, but to do it for 70 episodes is something to be proud of, Bullet. So, you know, I'm always looking for feedback. We get so many uh, great compliments on the show, Bullet. So many people love it. I am very excited that a lot of people are just now discovering Dad, you don't work your wrestle, if you can believe it or not, where you've been living under a rock. But two things, Bullet. Two people will go into the idiot bag this week. The first one, and I, we're always here to educate, Bullet. Mm -hmm. You know that on Dad You Don't Work You Wrestle Television about the business uh, stuff that we've learned along the way. The biggest misconception, and I'm referring to a match I had this past weekend, Bullet, that was very rough. And what I mean by that is, Bullet, this business is very, very easy if you know what you're doing. The biggest misconception is, and I learned this with Ric Flair many years ago, if I call a spot with you, as you know, we don't have to do it right then. Do you understand that? But we don't, we can do it whenever we want to do it. Mm -hmm. But just a lot of, lot of, lot of bad, a lot of bad this past week in my match. And it didn't have to be that way. And young guys, when you're starting in this business, you know, if you call a spot, which we do, boy, okay, I'm exposing the business, okay. But you don't have to do it right then. And it, to me, I got to get warmed up before I even go into it, boy, as you understand. But so. To the one gentleman that did not listen too good, I'm throwing him in the idiot bag, okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. But the big one is this, boy. Our past episode number 69 was probably one of my favorites, boy. And I always love, as we come in to do another show, how many people have watched it. Boy, that thing's over 600 views. Probably 400 of the people like them. And, boy, here's the thing. Here's the thing I don't understand. There's always one. I think I know where you're going. There's always one that don't like it. And people say, George, you can't expect everybody to like Bullet, this is our show. Dad, burn it. Everybody's got to like this show. Okay, If you're not, I'm going to put you in the idiot back. But what's so amazing to me, what can't you like about a great co-host and his idiot friend? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What can't you like about that, Bullet? But anyway, there's always that one. Of course, they don't put a name to it, as you know, Bullet. So, I am going to put... The other individual that did not like, the one out of 600 that did not like this TV show, I am putting him in the idiot bag mm -hmm. just because I don't like it. So uh, that's enough. But, but I don't understand, Bullet. Were you here? We're you here. We got to be doing something right. Or, yeah. TV, or TV is so bad that they can't kick us off. Yeah. But 70 episodes, Bullet, we're happy, we're upbeat, we love everybody except a few people. Uh, Especially a guy that if you don't go up for a slam bullet, I'm not going to force you. I'm just going to drop you on your head. That's all I'm saying. Okay? <laughs> if you don't want to, we don't gotta, I don't yeah, got to do it. Yeah, if you don't want to take a slam, I don't want it to either. I'm just going to drop you in midair. Okay? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, people say, well, we're entitled to our opinion. No, you're not. You lose that opinion. <laughs> you lose that opinion when you watch Dad. You don't work. You wrestle television. You have okay? no opinion. You have no opinion. We've made okay? it up for you. We, made, <laughs> we give you an opinion. Okay? <laughs> an opinion is you're an idiot. Okay? So... The one goof goes into the idiot bag, Bullet, for not liking our show. Well, okay. that, that, I thought you were going to put this other gentleman in there. and I gonna, didn't see that, but I, I want to... Uh, uh, let's clarify. Yes. Because yes. I know exactly what happened. You were making reference to the show with the boat. We don't like being corrected, but anyway, but, go ahead. You said also Macho Man was in it. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a Conan O'Brien when they have cur fan corrections. Oh, I love that. You said the, the, the show with the boat that had Hulk Hogan and Macho Man in it. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, you said Macho Man. Now, there was an episode of Baywatch that does have a boat in it with Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Yes! And Vader showed up with Nature Boy Rick Flair. He sure did. So when you brought that up and you said that the show with the boat with Macho Man and Hulk in it, I went to Baywatch. Now, you might have been referring to Thunder in Paradise, but yeah. there was no Macho Man. <laughs> no, no, no. no Thunder no. in Paradise. And see, you and we love the fans. So, that, so he I, was correct, but we were we were we were all We were uncorrect. We, we uncorrected it to correct it. It was a misunderstanding so it sure nonetheless. Was. It but sure was. nonetheless, that's what I was thinking of in my head. Thank you. And see, but we love fans that watch that intentive and, and, and just they shut down everything to watch and and we are stand to be corrected but boy and we you know of course uh but when you, just to come out bluntly and say you don't like this show oh you in trouble 
you in trouble. So I was a, I really didn't want to throw that guy in the idiot bag yet because I knew that my yeah, great... Because he wasn't an idiot. He, was, he, he, was, he sure was. But, but that's, where, that's where my mind went because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why my mind went there. Uh, I lost track of wrestling very at a very young age from like 92, 93. It stopped coming on syndication and we only had four channels. And then I didn't see wrestling again until 95. <laughs> and... So there's a big gap in there where I miss miss some wrestling, but apparently I didn't miss too much from what I hear. That's exactly so, right. So, but when it came back, we had cable. It just happened to be about that time when that angle was going on in coinciding with the Baywatch episode, yes. and they had the bash at the beach with Hulk Hogan and the cage match and the and the pay per view. So as a young kid, full of hormones, really liking Baywatch, That's exactly right. and then yes. really liking wrestling and finding out it's on TV. It was and, oh the my gosh. Show. That's it right. was like Baywatch and wrestling in one. I was didn't you have to change the channel. Bullet. So didn't just when you said, just when you just brought that up, it just flooded me back to childhood memories. And oh, I love that. And I just it was ridiculous, it, but I loved it. And we appreciate this gentleman pointing that out to us, uh, Bullet, that they that they watch and that they love that show that much that they will try to correct us. But as we know, uh, even when we're wrong, we ain't never wrong. Exactly. Bullet. Just like uh, Conan O'Brien that, says. That's exactly right. That's the bottom line. We are ne we're never wrong to begin with. And with all that being said, as we get ready to wind this up, Bullet, uh, had a nice picture put up a fan sent me. I was uh, this past week. I was made a special appearance on WWE Network, Bullet, mm -hmm. uh, back in the day, buddy. I think it was against Jake the Snake Roberts, I think, Bullet. But uh, I, but it's just neat to still be on there, I think this Bullet. was a different one because I remember oh. the exact match you had. You did not have the full stash that oh, you had. Buddy. In this what one, what did that break it? Oh, that, that was a I believe that was, I believe that was a Superstars episode where you wrestled Jake the Snake Roberts, which I have seen. And I think it, I think it is the legendary one where you said where you went for a small package. Yes. Oh, well, exactly. As, as instead of go for the DDT. Exactly. And then he DDT'd you at the end of the. I match. may be the only guy in the history of pro wrestling that was defeated by Jake the Snake Roberts with a small package. But, but in his great mind. He did put the DDT in. He just said, you always keep the fans guessing, Bullet. Thank you for remembering that story. Yes. And that Bullet. story, they can find, Bullet. In, ah, that's good. In <laughs> this book right here. That's good, <laughs> Bullet. Forget trade. Let's just hear it talk, Bullet. Do <laughs> <laughs> our episode maybe one week, Bullet. Yes. Anyway, thank you, Bullet. Great episode, Bullet. Thank the fans. I'm so glad. Still, People ain't never going to get rid of me, Bullet. Even when I'm gone, WWE Network owns me, okay? But it is neat me. I got a little pride, uh, uh, a little ego. So it's good now, even when that comes back on, for my little grandbabies to see Grandpa back in the day. Bullet. So See, it's you, pretty neat. It, it's your stamp in, in time. It sure is. You it did sure is. So somebody gonna tell me what to do? Somebody ain't gonna go up for a slam with me? Well, I was on WWE Network. I'm just gonna drop you. That's what I'm. I ain't gonna break my back, Bullet. But anyway, great show. Thank you, Bullet. Great. Thank you for, for everything. Bullet, well, I love well, you. Well, one thing that is also uh, stands the test of time of you, and I will not drop you. <laughs> Even though it is very hold, heavy to hold through 15 minutes of talking, but. If you want to pick up a copy, if I don't drop it, at highspots.com. Yeah. Very good, Bullet. Very good. And see, I don't never know who to throw. If they give us a name, i got to check and make sure they don't buy products. Yeah, because then you're an but, idiot. Yeah. You've got the wrong idiot in there. <laughs> but he did it in a respectful way. We just have to stand, you know, correct him. <laughs>